Hello YouTube. Today we will continue our server client project. First let's open our client project. Now let's add open dialog component to explore the files and choose any file we want to send. We add a string to our var section name track. We are going to store the track of the file in the variable track. Then we write the code needed to exploit the open dialog component. Here we put our variable track which contain the path and the file name. To load the file. The file is an image always, because this program dedicated to send PNG files. Then we commented the sending lines and execute, just to test our loading operation. The loading operation is good. Now we go back to our client and select the TCP component. Then from the window on the left we choose the event list and write the code for the events. Now we execute to make sure that our program doesn't contain any errors and update the saved files. Let's open the server side project and begin developing it. First, let's put the binding options on the create event. That will set the option on time of opening the program. Now go back to the form and select the TCP component. Then go to the window on the left and choose the event list. Then we will write the code for the events we want. Peer IP and peer port are the IP and the port of the other side of the connection. Now we add a timer to do a bunch of procedure to rename the file using the time of receiving to name the file and that to avoid overwriting the file we send before.
because the file name must never contain a column like in the time. We are going to write a function name change to replace the column with a minus symbol to generate the name of the received file. Here we write the function change to generate the name of the received file. Here we use the if function to change the column character with the minus character because the file name must never contain a column. Here we add sleep function to give the file time to assemble itself. Now we execute to make sure that our program doesn't contain any errors and update the saved files. Let's test the server in the client by sending an image from the client to the server. Now watch the server folder to see how the file appear then renamed. One last thing. Select the form and write the following code on the destroy event to avoid the stuck connection after closing the program. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. See you on the next video.